fight. You're worth the battle. You can do this. Alita, keep going. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Renny Titus Pigmentosa is something that deteriorates your vision, right? And so I know I've, I've known I've had it since I was 20 years old. And I started having problems with my eyes not being able to see like I used to. And I just went downhill. I really did, y'all. I went downhill because I didn't prepare myself for real. Mentally, I didn't prepare myself for really losing my sight. That's it. That's all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, being real, I didn't prepare myself. Like, at the end of the day, it's only my fault. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, I've I've had a tremendous support system. I really have. Like, I can't lie. My husband is amazing, y'all. And if, if any of my friends see this, they're going to be like, girl, you know how much complaining you do? Yes, I complain. But listen, at the end of the day, this man... I promise he's amazing. Anything that I need from him, he does it. Anything that I ask him for, he does it. Anything, I mean, it, I don't even, like, literally, this man is amazing. My friends are amazing. They call, they check on me. That's my real friends. Now, I'm not talking about people that I thought was my friends, and then this situation happened, and then, boom, they gone. They booked it. I don't hear from them. I don't talk to them. We don't no longer communicate and something like that because them ain't real friends, right? When I needed you the most, you was gone. You feel what I'm saying? I'm talking about real people that called me and said, yeah, I, man, this ain't like you. Hey, man, you need to, you know what I'm saying? You, you got something to say. I'm talking about people that really knew that in this situation, I'm really, I was really going through it or for a scene that I would be going through something in, in the situation of me losing my sight. And that's what really kind of bothered me the most is, wow, like, you know what I mean? Like really seeing the real side of people that you thought you knew, it'll bother you. So with all that being said, you don't need nobody to get through this but you. I mean, you need God first. And y'all know I believe in God. I trust him with everything that I have. I wasn't allowing him to heal me within me. I wasn't allowing him to do that. I didn't know how to because so many things just kept popping up. Things started happening. Things was, I was dealing with things and I was like, goodness gracious. Like it just seemed like on every corner, something was happening. And I keep a lot of the things that I go through, I keep a lot of the things that I'm dealing with to myself. That's a no-no. <laughs> if you have someone to confide in and you can talk to, talk to somebody. If you don't, pick up the phone and call a counselor. They have hotlines. If you feel like you can't take it anymore and you want to take your life, don't do that. My God, pick up the phone and call the suicide helpline, they have them. If you feel like you just need to talk, they'll talk to you. I mean, literally, I'm telling you, this thing can take you to depths that you never knew was in you. I'm serious. Losing your sight is one of the most tribulations, if that's a word. <laughs> The worst tribulations you can go through in your life, losing your sight is one of them, I promise, right? And it is not easy to go through this thing alone, right? So get some help. I am here. I'm going to make more videos on motivating through this situation. And I wanna show more of me going through 
this situation. So I'm just going to tell y'all now. If I'm having a bad day, I'm about to get on here and I'm going to be like, listen, today ain't a good day. But we're going to get through it. Whatever I have to do, I'm going to do it on here. And y'all going to hear it. And y'all going to see it. And we're going to get through it together, right? That's how you get through. That's how you make it, right? I don't care what my hair looks like, stringy and all. I don't care because underneath here, I got twists, y'all, and I'm dreading my hair. And that's a whole nother video because I really want to um, share with y'all my life journey. But anyway, so you have to be motivated enough to get yourself through. And nothing is bad enough for you to want to take your life. I'm telling you, I know, I'm telling y'all. I'm going through the fact that I'm losing my sight right now. So, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. Not even, listen, I'm telling you, I know how it feels. I know what you're going through. I know what you feel at night when you get ready to lay down. I know how it feels to not be able to talk to a person and express how you, I know. I'm telling you. All I can say is I know. Um, But, there are people out there that care about you. I care about you. I want you to succeed. I want you to survive. I want you to make it. I want you to be able to see who you really are. Underneath all of the feelings and the, 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 the drowning that you're doing under the emotions that you have because of your sight, right? So we were talking about on his show, um, you know, literally allowing yourself to be bogged down with losing your sight and how um, to not allow your sight to take you into deep places and be unmotivated unmotivated to you know you know do things in life um, that you need to do because literally that's what happened to me um, I've said before that, oh no, that never happened to me. Oh, I'm going to be good. I'm straight. I'm strong. I could do this. I'm telling y'all, I'm one of the most motivated people that you probably will ever run into with the issues that I've been through in my life. I'm so serious. I'm not playing. But this thing, dealing with this thing has been the roughest one of the roughest things that I've dealt with in my life, losing my mother and the, the man that raised me was the worst thing that I probably ever dealt with in my life. This was one of them. And I'm still going through it, but I have to motivate myself. So in the morning, I get up, you know, do my daily routine, wash my face, brush my teeth. You know, if I choose to put my makeup on, I ain't put no makeup on in so long. I don't even know. I was just like, I hope it looks okay. <laughs> For real. But, um, I get up in the morning and I say, you know what, Alita, today, even if you just sitting on the couch, you made it. Even if you're just able to sit in front of the TV, because now I'm going to show, I'm going to do a whole video about how I can adjust myself or how I sit in front of the TV or watch TV or where I sit at in my living room and how I have to adjust my shades so I have to draw my curtains and those type of things. How can I deal with the light? If it looks really bright, I don't know how it's going to look on my video because I'm not sure. Um, this is my first time doing like a video myself on my phone and this is the new phone. Um, so I don't know how it looks. But anyways, to me, it looks super bright in here. Like, and I guess that's because of the photophobia. But I, I constantly, um, I constantly say to myself, you're worth the fight. You're worth the battle. You can do this. Alita, keep going. You're worth the fight. You're worth the battle. You're worth, you know, I'm, you're worth it. Keep going, Alita. You can do this, Alita. This is not the worst, Alita. You've come through worse, Alita. So I'm telling you to fight. Don't give up. Don't be negative. All of the negative incantations or the things that you're saying to yourself, I promise you, you are going to see that come back around. You're going to see it come back around. It's going to come back around. 
all the things that you say it's gonna come back around and then it's just gonna perpetuate negativity in your life I promise you I'm not lying I've seen it happen those things only bring negativity to you and you don't need no more negativity if you're losing your sight honey you don't need no more bad things happening to you if you're losing your sight honey so make sure that you speak nothing but positive things I thank you guys so much for watching this video it has been a pleasure because I want to motivate you guys to get motivated about yourself because that's the only way you're going to make it. That's the only way you're going to be able to deal with what you're going through, right? I love you guys so much. I really do. Thank you for joining and watching the video. Again, if you can, subscribe. I'm going to try to put up my new, vi my older video of the RP video, me explaining about my uh, issue and situation. Go back and watch that video so you'll have a better understanding when I was first going through losing my sight. So, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for for coming on to Aletha's Humble Life. You get a chance. Go to Anthony's Third Eye Vision um, video and watch him and us discuss the topic that I was telling you about. Also, check out my homeboy, Ed. First Amendment, Ed. Y'all take care. Have a beautiful day. I love you guys. Be blessed. Oh, and like I say every time, you're worth every effort to be successful and be happy. Do it every effort. All right, you guys, bye.